uh, hello dear students we want to study about the ph scale so let us uh, study let us look at the definition of ph scale a scale for measuring the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution is called a ph scale in ph scale p stands for a german word potens meaning power and h represents the h plus ion concentration ultimately ph means power of h plus ion concentration in ph scale we measure the value of ph from ph is equal to 0 that is very acidic to ph is equal to 14 that is very alkaline as the value of ph increases the h plus ion concentration decreases and acidic character increases or we can say that please remember my dear students it is very important for you higher is the hydronium ion concentration lower is the ph value once again higher is the hydronium ion concentration lower is the ph value so this is how we can understand about the ph values now let us understand about the various ph and the character of the solution so if the ph is zero or less than or greater than zero and less than seven so if if ph is between zero to seven that includes zero even it is thus such solution is known as the acidic solution if ph is seven then the solution is considered to be the neutral solution if ph is greater than seven but less than 14 or equal to 14 then such solution is known as the basic solution in a more simple way if ph is less than 7 then it is acidic solution if ph is equal to 7 then it's a neutral solution and if ph is greater than 7 then it it can be considered as a basic solution to understand the ph a specific scale has been developed that scale is known as the ph scale and to understand ph scale we have a particular kind of a scale that i i can explain you or that we can see here this is what it is your ph scale my dear students we can start the ph scale from zero here so when the ph scale where or when the ph is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then we have the acidic nature of the solution if ph is exactly equal to once again if the ph is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, then we have the acidic nature of the solution if ph is exactly 7 then then we have the neutral solution you can see here when the ph is 7 it is the neutral solution and if the ph is moving from 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14, then in that condition the solution has the basic nature so you can understand the ph scale this is how we can understand about a complete ph scale my dear students and we understand what is the uh, ph scale using such figures now let us study more about the ph scale yes we have seen about the ph scale now we are going to study about ph paper a paper impregnated with universal indicator used to measure ph is called ph paper so when we take a filter paper and dip it into the universal indicator and then if we dry it then we can get the ph paper now we should understand about universal indicator so universal indicator is called the ph indicator you can see here my dear students that i have tried to explain you the ph scale and acidic and basic uh, medium or acidic in ba and basic nature once again you can see here that this is the blue color represents the h plus ion concentration 
and green color represents the OH minus ion concentration. When pH is almost zero, then mostly the H plus ion concentration is there. As the pH increases, the H plus ion concentration decreases and OH minus concentration ion increases. At neutral, when pH is 7, the concentration of both H plus and OH minus ion is equal. Now, if we go from pH more than 7, the OH minus ion concentration increases and H plus minus ion concentration decreases. And ultimately, when pH is 14, you can write here 14. The OH minus ion concentration is maximum, it can be seen. So if you go from pH 7 to pH 14, you can see that there is a decrease in the H plus ion concentration. So if you move in this direction, you will always have decrease in H plus ion concentration. But if from if you move in this direction, then you will always have increase in the H plus ion concentration. And this portion 7 to 0 pH represents the acidic nature whereas this portion represents the basic nature of a solution. So this is how my dear students we can understand about the pH scale and it uh, universal indicator and the concentration of H plus ion and OH minus ion uh, in the solution. Now we need to understand about the strength of acid and base. The strength of acids and bases depends upon the number of H plus ions and OH minus ions produced or furnished by the aqueous solution, aqueous solution of that acid or base respectively. So if we take equal quantity of hydrochloric acid and acetic acid and add them into the water Hydrochloric acid produces more H plus ion, acetic acid produces less H plus ions. That means acids can be two types of strong acid and weak acid. First let us study about the strong acid. Acid that gives rise to more H plus ions are known as strong acids. These strong examples of strong acids are HCl, HNO3 and H2SO4. Same way we can study about the weak acids even. So weak acids are the acid that gives less H plus ions. The examples of weak acids are carbonic acid, acetic acid, methanoic acid. Now we should study about bases. So bases can also be of two types. We can have strong bases, we can have weak bases. Let us first study about the strong bases. Bases that give rise to more OH minus ions, they are known as the strong bases. And NaOH and KOH are considered to be the strong bases. At the same time, let us study about the weak bases. So, weak bases, what is the definition of the weak bases? That weak bases, bases that give Bases that give less OH minus ions are known as the weak base. This less OH minus as compared to the strong bases. That is how we should understand. And the example of these weak bases are NH4OH, ZNOH twice, and AGOH. I hope, my dear students, you are enjoying your studies. Happy learning.